So I did a kit swap with Mr. Dustin Watts. He contacted me and asked me if I wanted to do a kit swap and I said, sure. And I sent him one of my tiny devs as a kit. This is a built one, but in a kit form. And he sent me this. And I think he absolutely got the raw end of the deal, 100%. So let's have a look inside and see what's in here. I know what's in here and I'm very excited by it. Let's um, try not to wreck it when I open it up. I have an idea what the end result is. I don't know what it's gonna look like. Oops, there's a note and I just cut the note in half. Whoops, and here's some goodies. Let's see what the goodies is first and then we'll have a look at the note. Okay, so it's got some nice packaging. I might need to get some scissors. My knife is blunt. I need to go up the sh shop and get a new blade. Come on. Get out, get out. There we go. Wow. See, he got the bummer deal because... Way more parts in this one. Come on, out with it. Wow, parts gone everywhere. Ha <laughs> ha! Okay. By Dustin Watts. This is a headphone audio amplifier. So it's an audio amplifier, but designed for headphones specifically with the small headphone jacks to be able to boost sound which is very cool I believe it's called um, Mini Amp 2.1 let's have a closer look shall we it's Dustin's own design I believe he works in the audio engineering field oh no little foot's been bent poor little foot lucky these are bendable so he designed this for himself well he uses it at work I believe He's got a video about it on his channel. He's got a, his own YouTube channel. He's just recently started. And I will stick a link in the description below. Definitely go check out his stuff. He goes through the whole build and the schematic and PCB design phase of this, as well as actually putting one together. So this is what he sent me. <laughs> That's what I sent him. He absolutely got the bum deal, for sure. From a parts count point of view and from a fun putting it together point of view. So I'm gonna put this together now because of two things, two reasons. First one is, I've been all business recently. Tindy, 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 product, 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 and I wanna just stop and have some fun. Not that everything else I'm doing isn't fun, because it is fun, I'm really enjoying myself. I know that it seems my focus has been all about making product for Tindy, but you gotta remember that I'm still designing and making stuff, right? I just have a, my end game is to then be able to sell it. I also want to just kick back sometimes and enjoy building stuff and making stuff. So that is what I'm going to do. I'm going to put this together. Now this chip, it's a uh, special op amp. My lighting in here right now, which is terrible. It is an OPA2134PA. Apparently this is a very specialized amplifier. I think it's a little op amp. So obviously you can see here, there's a, a socket for the chip. I might just put it directly down, there's a bunch of caps, resistors, so he's done a mix of through hole and surface mount, which is awesome. Some big LEDs, blue and green LEDs, and there's a battery pack here that I believe is designed to sit on the back like this. So it's portable, so it's battery powered and portable. It's a 9 volt battery adapter. So let's get comfortable and let's put this together, shall we? Okay, I've had to adjust my lighting in here because it was getting a bit overcast outside and it was sounding a little bit dark. So excuse the change of lighting temperature. So before I get started, I just wanted to quickly go through this note. That's a bit bright. Let me see if I can turn it down. Hopefully you'll be able to, to see this. So it says, Hi Sion, a little handwritten note to go with the mini amp. My handwriting is almost as bad as my PCB design skills, so I hope you can read it. <laughs> Dude, your design skills are great. Don't knock yourself. Included in this envelope, you'll find the kit, a bill of materials, and the schematic. I hope you have fun building it and find a good use for it. 
I can't wait to receive your tiny dip board and make a project with it. Talk to you soon. Cheers, Dustin. P.S. I've included a blue and green LED. You can use either. Well, definitely going to be the blue one. So, as Dustin said, here is the bill of materials, which is very cool. And here is the schematic. Very, very nice. I don't know anything about audio amplifiers or op amps. I mean, I understand how op amps work. I've never actually used one because I've never had a need. I probably should have a play with some op amps. I believe I might have some in my rack. Anyway, so, what a lovely letter. I still think Dustin is absolutely losing out on this deal. Because look at this, it's going to be so much fun to put together. Now, I'm going to do all the surface mount work with my iron. I'm going to need my magnifying glass to know what these resistors are. There's a 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, and a 3. Now, if I look at the bill of materials, maybe I can identify the 3. Okay, the 3 of them are 10K, so that's good. And then there's two 4.7s, two 100s, and two 1s, and two 47s. Okay. The caps are easy because there's only one set of caps, the surface mount. So, I might have to do those last, <laughs> because I'm going to have to either get my meter out and check them, or I'm going to have to get my magnifying glass, because I can absolutely not read them this far away. Not at all. Okay. I mean, I know what they are. They're the 10Ks. So, where should we get started? I've got my iron. We should turn it on. I'm going to just zoom in a little bit more, so you can see what I'm doing. Where should we start? We should start with some surface mount, because why not? Let's do it completely out of order. Let's start with these caps. Now, everyone knows that I love surface mount and that I love reflowing, but I'm also okay doing it by hand if I need to. So let's just get out, make sure our iron's nice and warm, get it clean, just bring that a bit closer. Now, where do these caps go? There and there. That'd be the caps for the left and the right, it looks like. Cool, so let's just tin one side. Whoa, now isn't that nice and shiny? And isn't it also nice and smoky in my face? Ooh. Okay, so... Get the angle right. Okay, cool. Let's turn around, do the other side. I wonder if I can get any closer. So I absolutely have a use for a headphones amplifier. When I'm in my house and I'm sitting at my dining room table with my computer, because I work off a notebook, and I'm trying to get some editing done or something else, and my family are deciding to be disruptive, which is pretty much all the time. And when I say my family, I mean my two beautiful kids. Even with my volume full blast, I just cannot hear what I'm doing. I don't think I need to go back and touch those up. A little ugly, but you know. Okay. So I'm really keen to see whether this will help me with my audio levels, or whether it'll just completely distort <laughs> my headphones. I have a feeling that my headphones aren't going to be good enough to do it, but, you know, we'll see. Now, I've not been looking to see whether I'm putting these left to right or right to left in terms of the writing. Did you call things if you're watching? Sorry. <laughs> At least I'm making sure that they're face up, right? I don't like people who... Sorry, whoa, I shouldn't say that. I don't like it when people put their resistors upside down, which you can do. It doesn't stop them from working, so, yeah. Upside down, no, I'm not prepared to do that. But whether they go left to right or right to left, well, unless you look really closely at the board, you can't tell. It's nice to be building something that I have nothing writing on it. I mean, other, I want it to work, <laughs> sure. But, you know, in terms of an outcome, it's nice. I mentioned in my random bites for August that I am not getting to spend as much time just tinkering. And it's like, it's been my own choice. So I'm not complaining at all, but I'm going to make sure that I spend a good amount of time every month just playing with no other purpose than playing. And obviously not just playing like for video's sake. I might not even do it on video, but I've got so much cool hardware just sitting here that I haven't had a chance to tinker with yet. I'm still fairly new to all of this process, so I still need to get my rhythm when it comes to what I prioritise and what I focus on. Now we've got the 1K. So I hope Dustin is going to release these as kits on Tindy or wherever. I keep mentioning Tindy. I don't know if any other places other than Tindy for electronic stuff. I mean, other than AliExpress or eBay. Like there's places like Etsy and stuff, but they're primarily for um, finished goods or for not, not for electronics. 
enthusiasts and stuff. If anyone knows any other places other than Tindy, please leave a message in the comments and let me know. But anyway, I hope that he does release these because they're pretty good fun to build so far. They're pretty easy to build, as you can see on the surface mount, but it's very easily solderable, hand solderable. Okay, so then two left, it's the 47 Rs, and they are R6 L and R. So obviously, this is a stereo amplifier. I don't know if this is specialized hardware or not. I think it's actually specialized silicon. It's not just, it's not like a, a chip with two or four op amps in it. I believe it's actually dedicated hardware. Last sides for the resistors. I might leave the cap to last, caps, and I might put the IC socket in. Is it gonna balance? Look at that, it's made for it. Let's make sure that's sitting in flat. Beautiful. And look at that, pretty much no flux residue at all. As I said, my other solder was just pretty eh. Put that out the way, okay. Look at that. That is just a massive pot. I wonder if Dustin's designed a case for this. Hmm. There's no screw holes anywhere. No mounting holes. But that doesn't mean a case couldn't be made for it. That is... I don't even know what this part is. I mean, it's obviously some type of... Is it a jewel? Is it a left and a right? Maybe. Okay, let's do a few of these at once. But they won't stay in because they're lower. Oh, that slip out. It did. Okay, I just need something to go underneath. I know. That'll do. Perfect. Talk about not being able to center my stuff in the camera view though. Terrible. I feel it's going to take a lot of solder. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. I'm really loving this solder so far. What I'm not loving is not using blue tech. Oops. I'm just going to keep letting it spin, I think. Don't fight it. Are they sticking in all the way? I'm not sure they are. Let me just put a bit of pressure down and see if I can get them a bit lower. Probably too late now. Oh, that is sitting flat. There are little feet there. I didn't think it was sitting flat, but there are little feet underneath. These are pretty big holes for little tiny feet. I might have to go back and do another pass because it's the solder is falling through the hole. Okay. And again, no flux residue. Very little. Very little flux residue. So, we're running out of parts to go in. I think I will do caps first. Let's make sure we get them the right way around. Negative. Positive is on the left. Cool. So let's see if we can get them nice and straight. Probably not, but you know, it's not bad. I can live with that, if I can hold it still. Well, that's going to have to do. Let's see if it falls off or not when I solder it though. Should just be able to tack it. Whoa. <coughs> Excellent. Let's check them. It's not bad. I mean, I need to do a great job soldering this thing because I can't make the kit look bad because of my bad soldering. Okay. Whew. That was pretty uh, smoky. Okay, let's cut these off. Oh. Okay, let's get out of the way. We are almost there. I'm assuming that the LED, hmm. So, see a negative here on the cap, but look at the bottom there, there's a trace going to this side. So I'm assuming that is negative and positive is where the resistor is. Because there's no marking that I can see. Oh, so is the silk, is that straight on the silk? Can't really tell. It might be, but the, the holes are in the way. That's okay, I'm pretty sure this is the right way. Let's get one end on and see if we can straighten it. Because yes, that needs straightening. So let's see if I can do that without burning my fingers. Here we go. Oh, perfect. Perfect. Now let's do the other side. For those of you that didn't know, blue is my favorite color. So I was absolutely going to go blue. LED. Never in doubt. Thank you for giving me a choice, Dustin. Okay, last one. Last component. Look at that. Jack's not very straight. Well, it's sitting in all the holes, so maybe there's a little bit of give in the holes, but that's okay. Let's see if the height of my PCB holder is good. Not really. 
Of course, after I do this, the last thing I'm going to do is connect the power. And I've got to hope I have a 9-volt battery. I might have one, actually. I just don't know how much charge there's going to be in it. Okay, I'm not going to put the chip in yet. I'm going to connect power. Let me see if I've got a 9-volt battery. Wow, look at that. Unopened. Who would have thought? Okay, so let's connect this up. Positive and negative. Negative is that side. This is negative, and this is positive. Maybe I'll just do them one at a time. Maybe I can hold it. Okay, I'm gonna do the one-handed soldering trick. Someone get ready to call emergency. It's one, maybe a little screw terminal could work there. Dustin, for power, rather than soldering it directly on like this, just a, I wonder if I could fit one of them. No, my screw terminals won't fit. Okay, number two. So that is our power connected. Let's put the chip in. Make sure we put it the right way. Might need to fold the legs in a little bit. Never push till you've checked the pins. Okay, looks good. And there we are, we're in. Shop for power on. Okay, LED turns on. I think that's a good sign, right? Because I've got the polarity right. Well, how do you get this battery in? Okay, so is this a switch? Is it just a left and a right? Oh, there, it is a switch. Okay, so it's a volume. Excellent. So, what can I plug into it? I'm assuming it's going to work, but I need some headphones. But all my headphones are lightning connectors. <laughs> um, maybe I have a pair in the other room. But I need an audio out and an audio in. It's the next day, and I found a cable. It was up in a box in the cupboard in my garage. It's been sitting up there for 10 years at least. And my garage is an absolute mess right now. But I found a cable. So what I'm going to do is put my headphones next to the microphone, which is just, it's up about here. And I've got it plugged into my iPod. So I'm going to just play one of my videos. So that way I don't get a copyright strike by playing music. I'd love to play music, but obviously that's not going to happen. So I'm going to play the video. I'm going to hold these next to the microphone. We'll see how loud the output is normally. And then I will plug in the amplifier and see how it goes. So hit play. So as you can hear, it's not very loud. Pause that. And as you can see, the volume is all the way up. So that's as loud as it goes to the headphones. Let's now unplug this. And plug this into the amp. Plug this in. And I'm going to put the volume still all the way back up. I'm going to turn the amp on. And I'm going to make it not full blast because that's just going to distort a little bit. A little bit under full blast. I'm going to do the same thing again with the headphones right up to the microphone. Here we go. Don't want to make you sick. So I've been breaking out all the different components. You can see we've got some some badge PCBs on that side, and over here there's some tiny dev boards. I've got two lots of AT Tinies in there. These ones are tiny dev AT Tiny. That was loud. Did everyone hear that? I've actually turned it down a little bit more. It's super loud. So, we have a success. The headphone amp works. And, yeah, I don't know what else to say. Got it first time. It's a great little amplifier, Dustin. Very happy with it. That's it, folks. Thank you all for watching. I appreciate it. If you're a new sub, welcome. If you're not currently subbed to the channel, why not? Until next time, everybody, I will catch you later.